Hey guys, Archie Luxury, your pontiff here on the Archie Luxury channel. Guys, today I want to tell you a story. Now this is a story that came from a really good friend of mine who's a chartered accountant. And it's a really cool story. So basically he's got a client who is in his late 80s. He's 89, 89 years old. He's got a wife, the, the client has got a wife who's about 80, so he's 89, the wife's 80, and they got, uh, how do I put this, this is in Aussie dollars, but they basically have about 7 million in the bank, and 2 million is in a assisted living place, the place they, 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 res they live, it's a 2 million dollar place, in an assisted, upmarket assisted living. So nine million dollars net worth. And the interesting thing is, my friend told me the story that this guy has a BMW 5 Series. And he loves this BMW. It's 20 years old. It's got 200,000 kilometers on it. What's that? 140,000 miles. 20 years old. It's in immaculate condition. <coughs> well, well uh, used, loved, but looked after. He loves his 5 Series. And he's got a department store watch from the early 1960s. And, I mean, these things, the BMW is probably worth sub 10000 Department store watches, piece of garbage, really. But he bought the department store watch in 1961 when he had a good, a, de a good deal went through. And he'd never, that watch is always precious to him. And the BMW, he bought it 20 years ago when he was a young 69 years old when he did a, a good deal in his, his self-employed, in his business. <coughs> he went out and treated himself and bought a BMW 5 Series. And he, he got really offended. He's also got a an old... Rolex from the 1920s. I suspect it'd be like a cushion case, an early cushion case. Anyhow, he told his son, hey, I got this Rolex. Uh, and his son, his son, who was, who was uh, <coughs> in his 60s, said, oh, I'd like to sell it. And he got really offended because this is something he's had for so long. He wants to preserve it. He wants to preserve that BMW. And what I love about this story is the fact that here is a guy who clearly is worth substantially more than the BMW or the watch, but he's, these are precious items. These are tools that he's had for years. They were expensive purchases, and he still loves them and cares greatly, even though his net worth is uh, nine million dollars. <coughs> What's that? About six and a half million US. So it's quite interesting. It's interesting that for him, these are really important tools. The BMW, he can remember back when he picked it up from the dealer and he was a young 69 year old man. And he would, he would never sell this BMW. He loves it. He services it. He gets it cleaned and detailed. And he loves his BMW. And what a great story. And this is the whole thing. A lot of people, when you talk about material goods, they think you're greedy and self-centered and, you know, hoarding, possessing. But what they don't understand is, here is somebody who loves his material things. He loves his BMW. He loves his Beamer. Beamer. He loves the Beamer. And 
he he just you know he remembers when he bought it he remembers the deal he did to get the money <laughs> i mean that was an expensive purchase a 5 series bmw uh you know that was a good that was a good year he did really well and it's just such an interesting tale and i think there's a lot i can relate to that myself with my own collecting is you buy something and the usefulness of it you know the saying is you know the price of everything but the value of nothing in his case he uh knows the price because he bought it and he knows the value and this is this is why i like quality goods you buy a quality automobile like that and you know he's looked after it and loved it and and uh nothing's too much trouble uh mind you you know modern bmws with the plastic water pump plastic hoses after about uh, you know after uh a hundred thousand kilometers everything starts to fall to bits but hey that's just modern cars mercedes would be no different aldi uh any of these europeans would be the same but uh yeah it's a great story and and it really got me thinking you know with my material goods themselves there it's not just because they're valuable, but because they were, they meaning, they got meaning, they got meaning, they have really strong meaning, deep meaning. And um, he kind of wants his five series to be like a museum piece. He loves his five series, you know, it's just, it means so much. And what a, what a wonderful story. And I wish he would document this, document the story, because nobody knows how precious and special this beamer is it's his beamer you know and i i i gotta say with my own bmw itself i had one years ago and i recently got i really want to look after my beamer and treat it with respect because i love my bmw i love <coughs> i love you know the fact that this this is typical this is what i like somebody who's loved their vehicle they've loved their vehicle and it's a very precious part of the family guys tell me what you think like subscribe tell your friends and i will see you in the next one great story arch love these stories hi guys it's archie luxury guys i want to talk to you about david sw david sw david sw Guys, if you are in America, if you are looking for a Rolex watch of your dreams, in fact, if you're looking for a contemporary modern wristwatch, I strongly advise you to look at David SW. Guys, don't play the dealer games. Don't bring in chocolates or crispy creams for your dealer hoping to get a Rolex at retail. It's futile. Please, guys save your dignity, keep some pride, go to David SW. I would highly recommend David SW, David SW. If you're in America and you're looking for a watch, go to David SW, David SW, David SW. Hi guys, Archie Luxury. And today, guys, I'm very proud to introduce a new sponsor of the Archie Luxury and the Paul Pruder channels. Who am I talking about? Watchshopping.com, watchshopping.com, watchshopping.com. Check them out, guys. Jump online, check out watchshopping.com. These guys here have been in business since 2017. Worldwide shipping and distribution. Over 10,000 wristwatches in inventory, stock in hand, and 90 plus different brands, new and pre owned. Now, the good thing about watchshopping.com, trusted by over 4,000 reviews on Chrono24 and Trustpilot, your one stop shop to buy any watch your heart desires. 
Please, guys, check out whatshopping.com, whatshopping.com, whatshopping.com. I'm Archie Luxury, and check out whatshopping.com. Hey, guys, Archie Luxury on the YouTube sensation, the Paul Pluto channel. Guys, I need you to help me out, guys. I can't survive on Google Ads alone. I need you to request a paid review. 50 US dollars, look down in the description. 50 US dollars, I will review your collection. I'll tell you what I think of it and I'll give you some pointers. The other thing is guys, you can sponsor me on Patreon. Patreon allows you to pay a couple bucks a month, a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, whatever you want. And it keeps me going on YouTube because guys, I'm in a niche. Nobody can make money out of the views I get. The views are crap because it's a small specialized area and I don't talk about garbage for the sake of views. Guys, sponsor me on Patreon, look down below and I will see you in the next one. Yeah.